Hey guys, welcome back to Kali J's Kitchen. Today I'll take you back in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how I fried my lionfish. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Facebook, it's Kali J's Kitchen. Follow me on Instagram, it's Kali Kitchen underscore one. And make sure you turn on your post notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. Once again guys, remember to like, comment and share and tell your friends, tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen so here I have my two lionfish I also have salt and black pepper to season my lionfish with and of course I have a piece of napkin that I'm gonna use to just dry my lionfish of any excess water now for the black pepper and the salt you want to always ensure that you combine both together and also you want to always ensure that your fish is properly dried so as you can see i'm just drying the lionfish ensuring that it is dried properly because you don't want when you're frying it the water from the fish pop up and then it will cause an accident mm -hmm. in the kitchen so always ensure that you dry your fish properly and this doesn't just mean you should just dry the lionfish any type of fish that you're gonna fry always ensure that you dry your fish properly all right guys so remember to subscribe to my channel remember to follow me on facebook remember to follow me also on instagram it's kali kitchen underscore one and remember on facebook it's kali j's kitchen So now that I'm finished drying my fish, I'm just going to go ahead and season them with salt and black pepper. Now, for most of us Jamaican, we don't use the fish season to season our fish when we are going to fry it. Except for when we are going to cook it, brown stew it or steam it. That's the time that we're going to add those type of seasoning. I'm just used to the black pepper and the salt. And of course, we're not adding too much black pepper nor too much salt. We are go just going to go in and use a small amount. While I'm doing this, guys, please note that I have my frying pan on the stove with my oil eaten up that I'm going to use to fry my fish in. Always ensure that whenever you and meat, you wash your hands properly because we don't want any cross-contamination of any food items, all right? So, make sure you wash your hands properly. So, as I said before, this is my frying pan that I'm going to use to fry my fish. As you can see, it's well heated. You see that flame's coming off. So, I'm just going to go ahead and add my lionfish. So, I'm going to add them separately. And, of course, I'm going to allow this to fry on one side. Then, I'm going to come back and show you the other side. So, you want to ensure that they're not close beside each other because... As you know, whenever they're closed, it might cause a little problem for you to turn them when it's time to turn. So we're going to allow one side to be golden brown, then we're going to come back and turn them on the other side. All right, guys, so this is what the lionfish look like. And this is basically after four to five minutes. So I'm just going to turn them down, turn it over rather on the other side. And allow it to fry then I'm gonna come back and show you the final product of my fried lionfish all right guys so this is the finished product of my fried lionfish I hope you enjoy this video I hope you tell your friends tell, tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen remember to follow me on all social media platforms it's Kali J's kitchen on Facebook and on Instagram it's Kali kitchen underscore one thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next video bye